Hey guys, I'm your host, Agent Tushar. We've always wished that we could become heroes like All Might. Speaking of All Might, today's episode is about All Might's story so far. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you that there might be spoilers in this video and I don't want to ruin anyone's ongoing show. With that out of the way, let's begin, shall we? All Might, or Yagito Shinori, was born at a time when All For One was in his prime. Even though All Might was just a normal quirkless dude, just like Deku, he always wanted to become a hero despite the difficult challenges. All of this changes when he meets Nana Shimura, the seventh wielder of One For All. We discussed this briefly in the previous episode. He tells her, he tells her about him wanting to become a symbol of peace and why he wants to become a hero. Nanashimura decided to pass one for all to Yagi Toshinori and also talked to Gran Torino about this. She trained all might until she fought with all for one, who we talked about in our previous video too. Unfortunately, she died, leaving him to Gran Torino. After training with Torino, he got sent to the USA to be saved from all for one. In the United States of America, he meets Dave Shield, who makes his costumes and he names all of All Might's moves. He returns to Japan to become a hero. He makes a new sidekick, the one and only Sir Naitai, and proceeds to become the number one hero. He confronts All for One in a brutal battle and successfully defeats him. But he gets heavily injured and after doing multiple surgeries, he is only allowed to do hero work for three hours a day. After that, he will be unable to move freely. He fights a sludge monster and finds Izuku Midoriya, who impresses him, even though he is another quirkless boy. All Might decides to pass one for all to Izuku Midoriya, whom we'll talk about in a future episode. While undergoing a rescue simulation course, the U.S. students are attacked by the League of Villains. The students and the teachers fight against the villains. All Might appears and fights against the Nomu. This fight was once again epic in all proportions. He defeats the Nomu with a plus ultra smash. Moving on to the Kamino incident, Bakugo, whom we'll recover in a future episode, gets kidnapped by the, lang- by the League of Villains. All Might rescues him just in time, but then suddenly, all for one appears. Everyone thought he was dead. Absolutely everyone. All for one versus one for all was clearly an epic bat an epic battle. All Might uses United States Smash with the all the remnants of One for All and defeats All for One. He meets All for One in the torture cell and the Camino arc ends. After that, he continues to train Midoriya and continues to teach at the UA living a pretty normal life. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share and subscribe this video. Before ending the video, we would like to thank all the health workers working on the front line to keep us safe from this pandemic. Stay home, stay safe and remember, go beyond plus ultra.